These 50 voices have awed people from all corners of the world. Together, they're considered the best of the best and make up the Pontifical Sistine Choir, which takes the stage at all the Pope's religious ceremonies. Music is the purest form of sacred art, and in a liturgy, this sacred art turns into holy art. Behind these voices are hours of practice. The choir is made up of 20 adults and 35 children. The adults who practice daily are all professionals hired by the Vatican. Meanwhile, the kids study at the chapel's college. Along with the usual math and history classes, they also take voice lessons, classes in vocal technique and repertoire. This heartfelt relationship between young and old is very special. If this bond didn't exist, we wouldn't be able to sing in harmony. In fact, one of the biggest challenges the choir faces is finding kids who want to study at the college and form part of the choir. Each year, the choir conducts auditions at parishes and other colleges to recruit new students. The problem is a society that is de-Christianized or a society that is too superficial. Only a few have the gift to make true art, but with this current social situation, that makes our search for great talent even more difficult. While the choir's main role is to perform at all of the Pope celebrations, it also puts on sacred music concerts. The songs vary with the time of the year, but the base of most of their songs is the Gregorian chant, ancient and renaissance polyphony. The director adds new compositions to the songs. Giuseppe Leverto has been part of the Pope's choir for 13 years. 13 years of living historic moments. Pope John Paul II's funeral was a very emotional time, but before his death, we witnessed the beatification of Padre Pio and the canonization of many other saints. Those were all beautiful moments. The next major project will take these 50 voices to Mexico, where the choir will offer concerts in theaters and a number of churches across the country, including Mexico City, Guadalajara, and Puebla, a tradition that started more than 10 years ago in Japan, far away from the walls of the Vatican.